Welcome everyone to the Rangers Review match report uh, from outside Ibrox where Rangers and Brighton drew 0-0 here in their pre-season friendly clash. Of course, two matches taking place at this fantastic stadium of the weekend, Real Madrid tomorrow. I was here watching Rangers in action today and I have to say I was uh, fairly impressed with the showing from Steven Gerrard's men. The first half was pretty much a, a reserve team side, you would say, apart from Glenn Kamara in there. And, and the main takeouts, I think, from the game was Stephen Kelly, an absolutely fantastic showing from the young man. He grew into the game. He looked so comfortable and so controlled in possession. He loves to come deep and start off moves. He really reminded me of a, he's like a, a mini Stephen Davis, um, but a fantastic showing from uh, the young man. A number of changes in that second half. Uh, the big notable substitutions was Nico Katic back uh, on the field of play. He was one of the three uh, half substitutions at half time. He received an absolute rousing reception when he came on to the field. A few uh, over hit passes, it has to be said. Um, but I think we can, we can forgive him that given the, the long period of time that he's been out of action. That aside, Fashion Sakala came on for his uh, first uh, action in the Rangers shirt. Again, like Katic, he received a, a rousing welcome uh, from the, the, the crowd that was inside Ibrox uh, this evening. They've got to see, even though it was just over, well, it was around 8,500, it felt like a lot more. And I'm sure Shane Duffy will feel like it was an absolute full house in here because he received, one of the, I mean, it was just like if he was a player himself. I've seen fans uh, bowing down to him and... There was chance and all sorts, and he was being cheered every time he touched the ball as well. So, yeah, uh, it, it was a lot of puzzled uh, people in the press box here this evening when we, we saw the team sheet and Shane Duffy uh, was in that starting lineup. But, um, yeah, he, he was, and he certainly received the welcome that I'm sure he would have been expecting uh, on his return here to Ibrox Stadium. But, yeah, the main takeouts, uh, tremendous uh, performance from young Stephen Kelly, Fashion Sakala, uh, who did come on make, making his debut, of course. He, he did look keen. He was full of endeavour and industry, but he couldn't really get in behind that Brighton back line. The closest that Rangers did come to scoring was through John Lundstrom. He cracked the woodwork with a tremendous left-footed effort from just around about the edge of the penalty area. He came on as well and looked very good, John Lundstrom. I'm really excited to see him uh, going forward as well. So, Looking ahead to tomorrow then, Stephen Gerrard did bring on the big hitters in the second 45. I do expect to see a lot more of them uh, tomorrow as well. We've seen the likes of um, Connor Goldson come on later on, Ryan Kent, Bona Baric, Barisic came on on the left-hand side as well. And a quick word too for Nathan Patterson, and again, another fine showing from the, the young man on the right-hand side. He was replaced late on by James uh, Tavernier. But altogether, a good workout for Rangers. Maybe going forward, there was talk afterwards that just missing that Alfredo Morelos factor. And I think he's uh, you, you certainly miss him when he's not in the side. And everyone looking forward to seeing uh, when he comes back into the fray, hopefully sooner rather than later. But yeah, all in all, decent workout uh, for Rangers. But big one tomorrow, of course, at Real Madrid come calling. It'll be interesting to see how they get on in that one. But until then, keep safe and keep your eyes on the Rangers Review website and on the socials as well.